Hello, I'm Mr. Jacobson, and I'm always trawling for swatches. Today we're looking at something very, very special and something that I am super excited about, as you can see. The SUJZ106. This is one of two swatches made in 2007 to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the iconic hero, Corto Maltese. Excellent. This particular piece came as a full set, including the internal and the external box. However, the external box has seen some better days, as we will see a little bit later. But, as always, I'm just happy to have the box. On the back, it says Corto Maltese in the classic font, and you also have the original price tag of 48 euros. These do not cost 48 euros these days. And on the front you have Mr. Corto Maltese himself. Just standing. Chilling. The internal box slips out easily. And there you have the swatch manual with Corto Maltese again, standing, chilling. The internal box also shows some signs of wear, but meh, who cares. Alright, let's check out the watch. The watch is part of the Jelly and Jelly series. The strap is made out of silicone. Both the case and the strap have a yellow tint to them, which is a bit odd because I think that these were supposed to be completely white. However, this could be a simple sign of age. I just wanted to note this fact in case you are thinking about buying one. If we turn it around, you'll also note that the battery is covered by plastic and not metal. Also, you have the same yellow tint on the back of the strap also the crown. The overall dimensions are as follows. The case width is 38 millimeters, the case height is 43.5 millimeters, and the case thickness is 11 millimeters. The minute hand and the hour hand are both black while the second hand is red, and the whole watch features Corto Maltese's face on the dial and then the rest of his body on the lower beat of the strap. Here is a close-up. It's a very, very pretty watch, and it features Hugo Pratt's classic style, and the character is very, very, very cool. However, I am a bit surprised at the yellow tint, and perhaps this is a problem with all jelly swatches, but still. I'm seriously considering finding another example of this watch to see if there is the same type of discoloration. I managed to find this watch for a good price, and overall it's in very good condition save for that discoloration. The plastic cover is still on the dial. The dial isn't discolored at all. Here is the box again, and you can see some of the wear. I think that this watch is just sort of laid about for 12 years, but because of the discoloration this isn't a closet queen. That means that this is a watch that I might be able to actually use and not just save. I really like Corto Maltese, and the fact that I can wear something that means something to me on my wrist means a whole lot more than the money I paid for this thing. Since I consider myself a collector, I would like to find something in pristine condition, but at the same time I'm quite happy to wear this and experience it every day if I so choose. There is only one simple rule to everything that I buy. I only buy what I like. So let's see what this thing looks like on the wrist. Here it is on my 7.48 inch wrist, or 19 centimeters, or 0.00944 furlongs. I have to say that it is a bit weird to wear. It slips around a lot, and it's quite tall, so I don't think you'll fit it under a shirt. Maybe I just need to give this a little time. Still, having this on my wrist gives me a thrill. 
Thank you so much for watching. I think that I'm going to put this watch on and do a little bit of reading. Yes, something that I now can finally do. I truly love this watch and I would buy another one in an absolute instant. But for now, I'm Mr. Jacobson. Have a nice day.